to make the format a little bit easier, we fly to the south of France, we get a villa, we get five amazing personalities, and we just wake up every day and just have a, have a blast. Brother, where are you from? Originally, Originally from Iraq. Iraq, my brother, we come from this building. I've just won the lottery. <laughs> no way. Yeah. No way, Ted, man. You know, he'd say, yeah, oh, come here, do you want some petrol? I'll go, yeah, yeah, you go. <laughs> and, put it, and in one hand, he's having a foul. Legacy, 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 legacy. This week is my sister's wedding. Guys, from the UK to Mecca, by foot, by foot. Monday morning, and look where he is, living the dream. Hey, third, how are you, brother? I missed you. I missed you too. Why are we pretending we haven't seen each other for two weeks? All oh, right, that's in yesterday, but you know what I mean. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to LA Weekly, episode 12. Episode 11, it was a recap, and people weren't happy. And that's when we realized, hold on a second, Nathan. We've created a real, real fan base here. We're back this week after a, what, a two week break. Reset, Reset. the levels, yep. refresh our minds. So I want to say a big thank you to all of you people, each and every single one of you guys. We are cracking on. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we've been flat out. Just because the camera hasn't been about, just because the weeklies haven't been coming through, doesn't mean that work here has slowed down. In fact, if anything, it's even gone even faster. We've had Nathan helping us out in bits and bobs. If you guys follow Inam on his Instagram, you'll know that he's been absolutely flat out, narked, my dad, unknown. Everybody has been going 100 miles per hour and work is flat out. We've also had a lot of family events and stuff, so I couldn't really share much. It's because I wanted to keep these moments very private, as I always have with my family events and stuff, kept everything very private. This week is my sister's wedding. I will show you little aspects of the build up to it, however, not the actual wedding. I've got to make sure that I can fit into a suit. By the way, just want to let you guys know, for the last two weeks, I've also been working on my garden as well. Um, Nathan will go around and show you some of the uh, the new additions. Whilst I go spin it around for a quick shower, why don't you go show them over the, uh, the gardens? Yeah, I'll see you all very, very soon. Legacy, 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 legacy. LA Weekly, how's it going? <laughs> you guys didn't catch that's a reference from the Logan Paul KSI podcast. A very quick point to highlight, Platinum is absolutely flat out. There isn't even a car for me to use out of the fleet uh, for like maybe even a day before a client or a customer um, has to has to take the car. So uh, we've been using Nathan's trusted Fiesta ST, which is a, a pretty nippy car. However, one of the tires on the other side has got a slow puncture. So we actually need to get the tires replaced instead of getting them fixed. My Bugatti is at Bugatti getting fixed. So that was my daily car. So really, I'm just hitchhiking. I've been hitchhiking for two weeks, haven't I? <laughs> I have got a new Rolls Royce coming this week, I think. Inshallah. Rolls Royce calling it, inshallah. We shall have that. I, think I actually might even just take that for myself. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna put it in the fleet. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't like losing money. <laughs> Well, this is great, isn't it, Nathan? I've jumped into the passenger seat and you've jumped into the driver's seat of a car that is a manual and you have a camera in your hand, which means that we can't film the drive. Two weeks away from the LA Weeklies and we've already forgotten how to film this thing. <laughs> Fades out. All right, lad. Oh, mate, how are you? So what we're doing, we're at the tyre shop Monday and I'm trying to get my second vaccine as well. I know, I can't talk too much about the vaccines. Take it if you want to, don't take it if you don't want to. I'm not trying to push it. <laughs> I need it because I want to travel and uh, Nathan's tyres are getting changed. Where's Scotty? Is he here? Shall we go see Scotty? Aha! Scotty! How are you, sir? Say hi to LA Weekly. LA Weekly, this is the one and only legend. Man of, man of the month, man of the year, man of the day, man of the hour. Scotty. I think we'd need a mic. <laughs> Scotty kind of whispers. <laughs> we didn't get much out of him. There's a lot happening, lad. Let's just, <laughs> let's just park ourselves up here and wait for our tyres, eh? I also need to get my vaccine as well today. Sure. Vaccine passport. That means I can go anywhere.
Thank you, Scott. Thank you, sir. Bye. Chapel Street tires, ladies and gentlemen. Get your seatbelts on because we have new tires. New tires mean better traction. <laughs> Not when you initially get new tires on. You got to wear them in. So yeah, that wasn't a good thing. Anyway, next stop. Let's go double jab. Double jab. In and by. Instagrams, bookings, drivings, driving the <laughs> out here. You don't even link up, bro. <laughs> hey, you are Scott, finally, you son of a gun. And it finally just got a new tire change because I had a flat this morning. What's going on, though, man? Tell me what I'm going on. What are we going to eat? What, we what, what you want to eat, bro? Are you with, are you with that guy, Lord Elite? That Lord Elite from YouTube. Yeah, I'm with him now, brother. What's happening, lad? Chilling, yar. Yeah, no, forget the chilling, man. I'm not saying come to work. Come see me, man. Shit. You know, Carl, how am I meant to see you when you're always on the road? No, oh, okay, okay, okay. Call me. <laughs> call me. <laughs> I get that many inbound calls, no. and none of them said leave, buddy. Ah, oh, because one week you were ill, and then the second week. Was my week off? Wait, are you coming to showroom now? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna come showroom, but my sister goes, just walk, just drive past, and she goes, the walk-in one, you show them a card, and they jab you up. So I'm gonna quickly go do that, and then we're gonna land it at the showroom. Right, for me to do this as quick as possible, I'll see you in a bit. There's a the microphone. Right, I've had my vaccine. Here's the relevant documents to go with what's been injected in me. Hopefully I can go on holiday now. Where's Andy? I've seen you in TikTok videos, you know, on our hips. Alright. Doing some dance. Oh yeah, yeah, I saw that as well. How did you find Nahid on the TikTok video? I, I That's what I want to know. Someone at me in it. I, I, not one car here. What, what are we actually doing? I've got a post-it note here. Right? And <laughs> at the moment, six. I, we've secured six. We're not going to say what, but yeah. we've secured six, six. of them. Hi, I'm Lee, Mitchell to Max and Sales. How can I help? Max, how are you? I'm great, yeah. You well? Good, thank you. Good, good. Yeah, really well. How, how many can you sell me? As many as you want to buy. Well, basically, I'm looking to buy uh, 12. Uh, now, at the moment, I'm trying to break down my, my orders, uh, but, you know, if there's something you can assist us on and, and, and take the whole the whole deal, would you be interested? So, firstly, other cars all for the UK? Yes. Yeah. Um, are they for yourself? Or, or for myself. What, what, have you got, like, a, 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 sort of like a rental company? Yes, like exact, that, exa there? exactly that. Platinum Executive Travel. Oh, OK, fine. Yeah, we've actually bought a car off you previously. No, no, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I must be talking to that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, makes sense now. Okay, so basically because it's a, a bulk order, so when we've done bulk orders in the past, uh, it just has to go through the brand director because obviously what needs to happen is he has the allocation uh, across our four dealers, which mm. Tangborn, Manchester, Hatfield and London. He can basically put the tap wherever the tap needs to be put, if that makes sense. I'd need to go through him to just try and work out where and how we, we do that. That's my number. If you do miss me on it, then you just have my email or you can just email Sal at Platinum. Thanks very much for your call. Thank I'll you so much for your time. Your phone calls and, um, I'll be back in touch with you. Perfect. Right. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye bye. All right. Bye. 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 Right, I'm done. I can't quote any more dealers. Tuesday. Let's get it. <laughs> So basically, it needs to go in for a COVID test. <laughs> it's not feeling well. So I think the car overheats. Let's take it for a test. Oh, if okay. it's positive, then they're going to keep it in. The hot weather, these cars ain't, you know, they're not realistically made for hot weather, are they? Yeah, exactly. Even though exactly. there's loads of them in the Middle East. But how are you anyway, Max? I'm good, I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, I'm all good. What's happened over the weekend, Max? You're nosy, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Good job. A bit nosy. Isn't it? No, with work-wise, it's been uh, hectic. Non-stop. Yeah, non-stop. Oh yeah, um, what are you doing with the shout outs? I heard you're doing, doing them from now on. Am I doing them? That's somebody told me that. Oh, I don't know about all that stuff. But yeah, anyway, we've got lots to do. So no chit chat. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll go on hold then. your horse. So the shout out to. Oh yeah. You're gonna guess now, aren't you? Tawheed, Tayyab, <laughs> Hassan, and Hussein. Later on in the week, we'll carry on with the rest. Yeah, no problem at all. Actually, no, I've got one for you. Go on. So I've done that job and 
in the 6x6, picked up from Leicester. Lovely guy. And then the shout out was to Ajay, Ajay, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. And the groom was Sunny. So shout out to you guys. But yeah, we'll see you at Lamborghini. All right, so we just pulled up to Lamborghini services. So basically, that car's gone in now. They're gonna deal with the issues. Back to the shout house. I met this guy outside Smedik Gurdwara. He mentioned something about only fools and Punjabis. Shout out to him. And there's another place, Burger and Slice in <laughs> Acock Screen. Lovely burgers. As you're filming, another shout out to Aleem from Platinum Executive Travel <laughs> and his dad. <laughs> oh, look, it's Magic Squared. There you go, sir. Oh, thank you, sir. Big up all the boys. Big up all the boys. Oh, 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 oh. You're, not, you can't, you're, not, you're not allowed to give shout outs. You're not allowed to do it. You've got to tell me and I've got to do it. I'm certified, yeah, man? Yes, sir. So next time, at least, you know, you made that mistake now. Don't do it again. How's tricks? All good, you know, all good stuff. Yeah, we picked these two Rolls Royces up, right? Yeah? You drive that back and let's get rocking. Yeah. I bought a Rolls Royce Shadow 2, yeah? You know, yeah. them old Rolls Royce yeah, Shadow 2s yeah. for about seven and a half grand at the auction wow. and sold it for about. 13 grand to a wedding company. Tell you what, mate, I said when I bought the car, it was the first Rolls Royce, I was only about 22, 23. First Rolls Royce, I was driving all over the shop, and it was bouncy <laughs> suspension. <laughs> the big, fat, chunky seats in the back, they're about this thick. The seat. I sold it to a, a, an Asian guy, 13,000 pounds or 13 and a half grand. Do you know, I bought a, an MR2 out of a salvage place in Blackheath for 2,000 pounds, the car was worth about 10 grand. 1989, yeah, yeah. right off I bought it, two grand, and I spent about six grand on it, because obviously I couldn't get the parts anyway, you see, because you couldn't get them then, you see. And obviously I bought it, and that's why it was cheap. But anyway, I got it all fixed, and it cost me about nine grand, yeah, 1.6 twin cam, yeah, and I sold it for nine grand as well. So I didn't make no money on it, but just, just like, imagine working for three months, yeah. and didn't make a pound. But then I bought a load of minis, and then like Cooper, Cooper S's and all that. Yeah. I, I went into a phase, and I bought one of these, out of a, from a farmer. These, yeah, Suzuki SD100s. Nice. Right, I bought one of those, yeah, and then me and my mate, we went on a phase, we, we just went absolutely mental. So we bought one, and like, everybody loved it, so we sold it, made money on it. Bought another one, made money on it, and all of a sudden, we started buying loads. Bought two mint ones, right, for me and my pal, we used to run around in them, and like, just purely just buying Suzuki's. We'd go to people's houses, because we advertised in the Birmingham Evening Mail, right, yeah? Cars wanted for cash, yeah? yeah. We'd knock on somebody's door, and obviously, you know, we find them up, they give the address, knock on their door, we say, how much, mate? This is, well, uh, you know, I, I don't know, you know. You know, you're, you know what I mean? You're yeah, the expert. Me, yeah. um, and then, you know, they say, oh, we don't know, you know what I mean? I just want it off me driver. Just, just just, want to take it away, you know. Whatever you want to give me, give me. Just take it away. 50 quid or something. And you give them 50 quid and take it away. And check it to the car wash and everything because it hadn't been washed for about four months. Got it all minted up and everything. Took it all back. Tires slicked it, painted, sprayed the tires. Got it, got it all minted. Got it. Give it a good wash at the car wash and then um, took it home and give it a good valley. Sold it for a bag. Give 50 notes. Sold it for a bag. There's a margin, bro. But only customer. That's how we were going on. I was buying cars from a, a, my mate in 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 Solio, Yeah. I was driving them down to the bottom of the lane, coming onto the Stratford Road and everything. And I, and, I, and I met a car dealer in the auction. So you see, I live here. She's pop over and show me some cars. I love mafia. And he's he still got the house by Robin Hood Island, right? Yeah. So I pulled up on his drive, showed him the car, and he's a bit wary of me at first. And I said, no, no, no problem. I have the car, documents. I had everything with me, service book, documents, all the money. Just give him the car. And I said, so I'll see you tomorrow and I'll pick the money up. I'd go back tomorrow with another car. I must have sold him in a month about 30 cars. The guy goes to me, I got no more money left, mate. I don't want no more cars. I stocked him so bad, he's had his garden full, full, full price. I just, because I couldn't, like, I was buying them there for like 500 notes, yeah? And I was getting 1500 quid down the bottom of the lane. Like, wow. you know, a thousand pound mine. The guy was over the moon and he used to advertise them for sale in the Sunday Times. And I'd had a look, the car he gave me 1500 quid for. Do you know what he was selling it for? Right. Two and a half grand. But when he says don't come back again, I still went back, sold him loads. Then when he couldn't handle me, then I went to the auction and like people buy cars out the auction. I was selling them in the auction. People buy them out of there. I was selling them in there. I had lorries going in to the auction, not coming out, going in. Oh my God, no way. Ted, man, 
you know, he'd say, yeah, oh, come here, do you want some petrol? I'd go, yeah, yeah, he'd go. <laughs> and, he'd put it, and in one hand, he's having a fight. <laughs> he's having a fight. He's having a fight, right? And he's putting, I said, how much are you going to put? He goes, no, nah, my brother, you're my brother. You can have a full tank. So I used to have the big uh, Porsche 911 yeah, turbos yeah, with the big spoilers yeah. on them, yeah? And you know, when they start up, they're like, they drink yeah, petrol, bro. Ah, oh, he's ragged, man. Still that say ragged guy, man. That's <laughs> what a guy, man. I don't know, I've met a lot of people, but he's a one of a kind. He told me yesterday to eat my barak, eh? Morning, Simon speaking. Simon, it's Icky, you're right. Yeah, yeah. You know them cars of mine you got there, yeah? You can have them, all right? They, you can have them, all. I'm going to donate them to you. Oh, thanks, mate. Yeah, because I, I've just won the lottery. <laughs> no way. Yeah. I just wanted to let you know, uh, I'm leaving the country, but uh, them cars, you can have them, all right? Because they're yours. Are they? Yeah, yeah, I've just won £10 out of the lottery. I'm, I'm outside now, can you get them cars out and I'm coming in? Yeah, anyway. See you <laughs> Should we let Nathan go and you can get the bricky? Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalamu wa rahmatullah brother. Akhi, how are you? Alhamdulillah. Brother, where are you from? Originally, Originally. from Iraq. Iraq. My brother, we come from this building. Guys, from the UK to Mecca by foot. By foot. Emphasis on that. Where do you start from? Wolverhampton. Okay. First thing, your name for the people. Adam Muhammad. Adam Muhammad. Yes. MashaAllah. How old are you? 52. 52. Okay. Drink. Drink. So you are my father age. But my God father, my father no, no walk very far. He walked very slow. Look, I couldn't, to be honest, mm. I couldn't imagine physically to do it. But I had a very strong faith inside my heart. Told me you can do it. It's going to be very easy for you Inshallah. as well. Guys, I can't actually believe it. We just got a call a few minutes ago from the showroom on the landline saying that there's a brother who is walking to Mecca and he's passing your showroom right now. And I've just literally, Nathan, have I made you run outside? Yeah. Um, so I want you to come out. And even Iki said, I need to come down and see him. OK, so Inshallah, so when do you think you will arrive? The, the plan is, if Inshallah, like 15 miles to go a day, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm gonna be like nine months, I'm gonna be there. For now, it's, it's August, so maybe one, two, three months, you will have good weather. Then it's gonna maybe get cold. Yeah, but still in Turkey, we have too much yeah, snow. We have too much snow, you know? yeah. How much you have with you to stay ready for the clothing, for how you, where you're sleeping? Tell me everything. Inside. Inside um, is everything you need. It's like a mini caravan, exactly. For if nine months, 10 months. Brother, no. you, you are on Instagram live. No, that's with a TikTok. Your TikTok. Yeah. Live TikTok live peace journey from UK to Mecca, guys. Tune in on but TikTok please, if you can. You know, I like to have my videos because yes, there is many messages I'm saying in the way. Yes, uh, I like it to be recorded and stays alive forever. So, everything, guys, everything, guys, is under this one name peace journey from UK to Mecca for this brother's social media. Uh, and inshallah, you guys can all watch it, you guys can support the brother because this video before Sunday or Monday will be on YouTube on our YouTube. Okay. Tell me, which countries, countries you're crossing through and inshallah, all the people from them countries, we can tell them this brother is coming. I, I plan to cross the, to uh, Rotterdam, to Netherlands. Yes, Netherlands. And from there to through Germany. You. Yeah. So from Germany, I've got two, three ways. Yes. Guys, you have to do me all a favor. You have to tune in to this brother's TikTok live and YouTube, okay. and you have to see which country, which country is going to. If he's in your country and he's crossing through your city and you are close, Please, for me, like my own brother, food, Definitely. water, anything he needs. Definitely. My message in the, in the way, which is it's a white flag, it's a flag of peace. Let's any country. live together. Any country, any religion. Any religion, doesn't matter. Come okay. have okay. a look the, inside my trolley. Okay, he will show the trolley. Tell look, you, talk through it's it. It's very messy. Yes. <laughs> it's very, very messy because people brought me too many foods and stuff like that. Nice. Otherwise, I have got battery charger, I have got heater, I have got computer, I have got cooking stuff you know everything everything i have where are you getting your electricity from the solar panel i have on the top so inshallah he gets plenty of sunlight so that the brother can stay online <laughs> and we can see hey tell me have you ate today recent have you ate lunch to be honest i just had my breakfast but ah, okay but listen how many foods they brought me yes i don't know i don't have no appetite i just like to go Walk. yes i just like to go i don't like to stop Okay, anything, right? I know you have water, I know you have food. Anything you need, we can help you maybe. No one lie. Thank Are you, you sure? Thank you very much. No one lie. Okay. God bless you all. Brother, I'm going to run back into the office. I'm going to leave you with my brother, Nathan. 
He's not Muslim, but we treat him like our own blood. We treat him like blood. Yes, hundred percent. But he he gives us salam every day. Is he is he made by God or no? Yes, of course. Okay. So do you? Then it doesn't matter. God made me. God made him. He judge him if he is right or wrong. Yes, yes. He only judge him. Okay. Not me or you or Akhi, absolute pleasure. I wish you. you the best, inshallah. Thank you. I will tune in myself and watch. Thank you. I will leave you with the brother Nathan. And I'll, uh, inshallah, when you come back, you come to the UK often? Of course, I'm going to fly back. Inshallah, you remember this building? You come and see us. Inshallah. Inshallah. Alaikum okay. salam. What's going on over here? Wedding lights. Nathan, how are you? I'm all good, you know. How's how your you? day been so far? Yes, yeah, been good. You've been active with Madge on the roads? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to mention it again very, very briefly in case I get uh, torn apart by the anti-vaccination gang. Yes, I did have my second vaccination yesterday. And Nathan phoned me up at 10 o'clock this morning and said, all right, bro, so what's the crack? I kind of said I needed a little bit more time, didn't I? And it hasn't bruised in the area. Like, you can't actually tell, but it's so sore. And I felt like, like my body was breaking down, but it was a lot, the second jab was a lot worse than the first one. Well, I say a lot worse, it's not like it's not killed me, but it kind of took me out for the mornings. Anyway, well, it was a good job that we stayed at home because today, um, if you guys haven't already realized or don't know and you haven't been watching the LA Weeklies, it is my sister's wedding. What a special moment in my life. My only sister is getting married and we are featuring it on the LA Weeklies. Well, not the whole thing, but just the build up to it. So over here, uh, we've got a, a team that has come through from Bolton, I think. These guys have come from Bolton, right? Yeah. Is it one of you? So, uh, brother, you've come from Bolton, correct? Oh, local, oh no. <laughs> These guys have come from local, so the, the local yeah. gang, and uh, they have some wedding lights that we are being, we're gonna be putting all over the house. Salam alaikum, brother. How are you? You watch the LA Weeklies? Oh, my brother. How are you, sir? You okay? It's amazing, really nice to meet you. You guys came out uh, yesterday as well, I think. Yeah, came out, yeah. Much. So yesterday was the doing the Yeah, yeah, they then. didn't know what was happening. Yeah, so, um, how long do you reckon this will actually take you guys? A few hours. A few hours, yeah, by tonight, inshallah. Uh, do you have a company name? Yeah, SJ Weddings. SJ Weddings, so there you have it. Like, I was actually struggling on finding wedding lights, so if you guys ever need a, a wedding lights, uh, SJ. SJ Weddings. SJ Weddings, there we are. We're gonna put, do you have an Instagram? Yeah, Facebook, Instagram. Okay, you give that to Nathan, and we're gonna pop it up onto the video, and inshallah, we'll get this, uh, rumbling huh? but thank you so much inshallah I look forward to seeing what it's going to be like tonight Nathan talking about how hard is it and how easy is it to make content I'm starting to think to make the format a little bit easier we fly to the south of France we get a villa we get five amazing personalities and we just wake up every day and just have a, have a blast that's content in itself that's content <laughs> that's how easy it is to make content work smart not yeah. hard I mean are you guys comment below if you guys are bored of watching me wake up go to pet <laughs> Overlook everything. Yeah, he said no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's a lot of lights to go on. You guys maybe are thinking, why on earth is there no movement with his man cave? We are literally waiting for my sister to be married and send her off on her way, and then we are in full swing. So, welcome to the showroom. It's Tuesday, and uh, it's a little bit late in the afternoon. We have just arrived here, and we've arrived to an empty showroom. If you watch episode one, You'll see when Nathan joined, his car was a little bit of a mess and we agreed from that day onwards that we will always try to keep his car as clean and tidy as possible. Um, he has done a good job of it. The car has not been washed for two weeks. Two weeks, yeah. Two weeks, yeah. We have been doing uh, a lot of miles in it. We have been pretty much living out of it as well. So we thought, why not treat the Fiesta ST to a good old bath? I'll crack on. We're giving this one a quick little bath, and you go upstairs and check what the boys are doing. I think they've ordered you some food as well. Oh, sweet. Yeah? All right, I'll crack on with this. What's happening? Partner, how are you? Goodness me, Nathan, come here, look at this. I think this is the first time a Tesla's ever been on the full court of Pet. How you doing, lad? I'm all good. Um, I'm wearing the same t-shirt as yesterday. Uh, it's because we're going for a haircut today. I've also got to get uh, suited up or measured up. I don't know why I need to get sized up or measured up with my sister's weddings in like two, three days. I wonder what they can do in two, three days. Well, 
just tailors, aren't they? I think they can they can always pull something off. Nothing seems to be going to plan recently. Nothing seems to be going to plan. Just a word of advice if you guys are out there looking to get married, keep it simple. Don't invite too many people. Just turn up in any old clothing, any nice clothing. You don't have to have certain clothing. You don't have to have, you don't have to be measured up. You don't have to be, you know. Save yourself some money as well, don't get fat. In, in Ambai, how long are you gonna be? Sure. Say, custom, you left mine two minutes ago. Oh, bro, Alani, custom, I might as well just give up, bro. Oh my god, oh my god. Biraya, biraya, biraya. In Ambai, I'm at the showroom. It's just long now, everything, and my, my tailor's waiting there as well. Are you you're on your way back here now? How long do you reckon you'll be to the showroom, boy? You ready for the timings? It is 1.30 p.m. And uh, Inambai is not late. He's not. He's just all over the place <laughs> because the directions are not correct. I love you, brother. I'm, I'm, I don't like, like being around you lot when you're under pressure because nobody speaks to me nice. <laughs> you know, I, I tried to sit with him yesterday. Nobody speaks to me lunch, nicely when they're right? under pressure. I wanted to just have a catch up with him. And honestly, the phone was buzzing that much. I didn't get a chance to sit with you. Yeah. Right. What I'm gonna do is, are you in Birmingham this evening? I don't want to know, mate, because you say, are you in Birmingham this evening? And, and then I'll be in like Luton. Then, then I want to see an Instagram story. Nathan, Aleem, where are you? I'm in Manchester. Get off your asses and work. First of all, why is there a Tesla on the forecourt? Because I took a door on. Okay, shall we wash your car as well? We need to. But yeah. there's no point. I'm on the motorway every day. Leave it. Leave it for a couple more days. No, right. but that's like saying, oh, yeah. Dad's already ringing me. I got to go. I love you. Goodbye. pagal ne sare. <laughs> right, Nene. Oh Where's man! Shoes? I'm gonna say Nene, I don't care. Where's shoes? I'm gonna go get my shoes now. Okay. This is reminds me of when we went round the event door. So we should be going into his office now. He's in there, should be picking up his shoes. He's probably picked up his shoes, then he should be running back down. And he should be coming out anytime now. Nathan, oh my bro, my do you mind driving? God. But, huh? What? No, I, I just give you a running commentary of where you should be, and I said he should be coming out now. <laughs> <laughs> do you mind if you can drive, bro? Yes, yeah, sir. How are you, sir? Nice to see you again. <laughs> sir, I'm, first of all, I'm so sorry I'm late. It's all on video as well, you'll see. But uh, my driver, he was, uh, he went to my house. Stay in here, stay in here. He went to my house, and then uh, he, 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 came, he came back, and he just basically, it wasn't his fault. It wasn't anyone, but it was just miscommunication. Right. Oh, wow, this is the first time I'm seeing it. That is stunning. <gasps> the flash on that's going to look really good, isn't it, in pictures? Yes, like your cars. <laughs> two-tone. Sat, what car am I in have you seen that's two-tone? Sat's listening to too many lyrics that are two-tone. <laughs> two-tone Rolls Royce. By the way, did you know this is a true fact? Back in the days, uh, it was an optional extra to have a Rolls Royce in two-tone, like it is today, but it was a sign to kind of uh, show that there was more optional extras on the car, more detail gone into it, because obviously Rolls Royce was a handmade car. So if you had a two-tone Rolls Royce, it was more of a premium thing. So absolutely thrilled with the service that we've received here at Z Menswear. On the other hand, <laughs> our friends up in Bolton, the the groom side, <laughs> told you. You know what? Right now, I've got so many ratings at home. Everyone's like, Aline, what he says, he knows the people. Look, look, and my mom and dad, my dad and my mom are just absolutely overwhelmed with like the whole experience with Ziggy. I'll be honest with you. I don't see you before. Congratulations. Thank you. Another brother? Another brother, yeah. That's it. That's my right, mum yeah. makes chicken biryani for him. Otherwise, for me, it's always lamb. Nathan, you know, the other day, right? Um, I came home and there was chicken biryani there, yeah? Why on earth is there chicken biryani when chicken biryani hasn't been cooked in my house for nearly like two years, three years? Like, they only ever make kima or yeah. lamb. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And I find out. AR has been. Nathan, next stop, Barbers. All right, Nathan, this is a promise. People normally say this, right, leading up to a, a special event, but we're gonna do the opposite. As soon as my sister's wedding's done with, and as soon as we've had a little bit of a summer holiday, we are gonna get absolutely whapped. Not third time lucky, but fifth time lucky. I can't do it anymore, I wanna be whapped. I don't wanna be big, but I just Good wanna physique. Be good physique, so we can have even better summer holidays. How are you doing now? 
I don't know. Assalamu alaikum, Moose. How are you? Thank you, Good. Thank you. My sister's wedding this weekend. You gotta make me look slim somehow for my haircut. So we're gonna have to go quite short on the sides. Yeah. How are you? Good to see you, man. And you, brother. Moose, also, you gotta sort out Nathan's hair one day. And we're just gonna do, we're gonna do like a low fade on the side. But I think keep length on the top. We have it. Good trim, Nath. Yeah, fresh. No? Told him to keep the length on the top. He always comes through. And it's great because the wedding's actually on Saturday, but we use a two-day marination period. But today we have a barbecue to head over to. My brother-in-law's little party that he's, he's done together for the boys. So uh, we're gonna head over there. You down to roll? Yeah. Yeah, so why don't you go home, spin yourself around on a quick shower, freshen up. I'm gonna do the same. Um, in between that, I'm gonna run my friend over quickly to get his vaccination done. And by the way, yeah, the Platinum Executive Travel phone cases are coming very, very soon. But right, Nathan, I'll see you at home. Yeah, are you ready to roll, lad? Let's go, chat. So a quick change of clothes and uh, we are ready to go to this barbecue. We're about an hour and a half away. It's an outdoor barbecue event, so hopefully the weather holds up. Nathan, you ready to go? You're fresh? Ready to rumble. We have got quite a fair few bodies. Uh, if you'd like to demonstrate, please drive past. We are heading out in this BMW 7 Series. I've never really driven it before. We are also going to be taking the Range Rover you, Nathan, you drive that, and uh, yeah, let's get moving. So, LA Weekly, Abdul Rahman. You can cut a shot to AI, you know. <laughs> All right, Abdul Rahman. Um, <laughs> this for whoever or what? Crohn's. Oh, is that your? Uh... Apparently. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so we've got AR, aka Crohn's. Yeah. Um, this is Aleem's brother-in-law, soon to be. How no, are you, you guys? How are you? Well, I already am. Yeah, you are. Are you forgetting is? that you came to the Nikah? Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he's obviously hosting this big barbecue today that you would have seen in the cutscenes and stuff. And yeah, how are you getting on? I'm all right. How are you getting on? I'm all right. I'm a bit awkward holding you like this. <laughs> Why are you holding me like this? You shouldn't Aleem be holding me like this. Yeah, where are we? I don't where know where he? he is. Aleem's, I don't know, he's probably gone to the toilet or something. Well, or his stuff in his face. Can you not so. see that Nathan's belly's popping out because he's like had their barbecue? <laughs> no, yeah, but uh, it was very good food. That's good. Um, That's good. I hope you enjoyed it. You enjoyed yourself? Yeah, I've enjoyed mine. I mean, it's been a bit busy. Oh, yeah. What have do? you had to do though? Just walk around and meet everyone. <laughs> I mean, and you came late. And I came late. Yeah. Two hours late, but that's all part of it, innit? So you, you came two hours late. Yeah, I came two hours late. And we came two hours late. No, you, you came four hours late. You had to oh, make an entrance. I had to make an entrance. Groom can't be here on time, can he? No, no, no you're right. You're, uh, yeah, yeah, no, you're right. But yeah, we'll keep it sweet and short. Yeah. Thank you for coming, Nathan. No, it's been a pleasure. Welcome. Thank you for having us. Yeah. yeah Thank yeah. you, everyone, for coming. Thank you. It's been really good. Is that it? Yeah. Uh, that's it. All right, cut. <laughs> well, I've been filming with Abdul Rahman. Right, hold on a second. So, what, what would you like to say to Logan Paul? Um, <laughs> Logan Paul. If I was allowed to, I would say the F. Can you say it for me? No. I can't. You can't swear. This is a right, no. Yeah, yeah. Family friendly. Right. Exactly. exactly. Logan so Paul, what, you suck. Pokemon card. All right, yeah. How much are they worth? Wait, um, wait, move, move, move. I'm um, filming. A Pakistani wedding, obviously. Cut, cut. Can, you can you please? Any place that you possibly can into net, but listen, let's carry on. Please don't hit us with the ball. Um, Logan Paul, you do not have the right cards. You carry your fee. But what about if he now turns around and says, I do have the right card, and I have a better card than that? Then Why do you suck? Don't play flip off! Why is everyone crowding me? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All Just right. a little man. Away. Show the Lord Liam fans your best card. Yeah, can you show them your best card? Show the Lord Liam fans your best card. Oh. Limbo, there's you, Max. Liam, do that thing. Let's get the mic on that. Yeah. Hey, I like this one. This yeah. Oh, you do YouTube as yeah, well? Yeah. Why don't you plug it in your channel? Time. Go and subscribe to MXZZX with the capital M. That's what type it. of videos do you do? I do gaming videos for PlayStation. And now we're family? And now we're family, yeah. Crazy plug. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, our bellies are full, yeah. our hearts are full. Yeah. We've had a great evening, haven't we? Yeah, we've had yeah. It's been a pleasure to have you over. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, well, uh, we are going to move on to the next day after this punch. Go oh, on, give it a punch. No, you can eat it, don't worry.
right, mate. Nathan, you had to turn off Tesla off. <laughs> you got it clean, man. I've fallen for it, haven't I? Do you like it? <laughs> I really do like it. It makes you an efficient driver, obviously, because it's electric. It makes you a safe driver. There's so many warnings. So it's just brilliant. It really is brilliant. Especially if it's this model. If it just does what, you know, gets me ATB in electric, I'm actually, I'm actually lost for words a little bit. I know you want a bit more from me, but I'm actually very, very impressed. Bearing in mind, I only used it when we got back yesterday from the barbecue uh, to get home. I don't know if it's turned off yet, but we, we can't tell because it makes no noise. It's like a, a room key you have, and you gotta lock it. Uh, is it fast? Yes, it's fast. I don't want it to be any faster than that. Another thing about it, it's just, it's just fantastic. And you know when they say like, oh, if you, if you, drive, if you drive it hard, you lose range, and all that sort of stuff. It's brilliant. <laughs> well, Nathan, how's it, how's it been? How, how was your night? How was your stomach? That barbecue was lovely yesterday, lovely. wasn't it? We had such a great time at that barbecue. A big thank you to the Dean family for hosting us and hosting um, such great people. I bumped into a lot of people. I wish I could bump into more cars here so we can make... That's not allowed to come back. How long do you reckon until that's back out? I'll give it three hours. This car, I got some alerts on this. It was driving a bit naughty. Right, let's go give this key upstairs and then we are hitting the roads. It is Thursday. We are heading to Hatton Garden because uh, as we always end up going to Hatton, but never really filming it for security reasons and all that sort of stuff. Maybe today we'll film a little bit more for you. But another thing happened yesterday. My shoes, you know my Dior shoes? Yep. They snapped. Oof. Talking about Dior shoes, where's the Range Rover? When I was putting it on, the back thing of it snapped. I paid a jib for it. You wouldn't be very happy with that, would you? Not at all. And I haven't got the box for it, nor the receipt, but we're in 2021, so hopefully they will be able Did to you return. pay my card? Yeah. There you are then, you've got proof of purchase. I'm all legal eagle, me. I'll pay by card. Catching up with my wardrobe is a little bit of a struggle. You know, I lose a lot of my clothing in transport. One of my friends, if he's watching this, can I have my clothes back, please? Nathan, let's not forget as well, we've got to get you a Shirobani for tomorrow. No problem. As well. Very, very important. Right, so we're going to be editing the weekly on the go. Yep. It is Thursday. We are heading to London. I am going to return over a pair of shoes that have ended up breaking on me, which is quite embarrassing, actually. And yeah, we've just got some jewellery business to do as well. Film me getting into the big bank mobile, big parked bank. at the electric car, jumped into a real car. It is hybrid. Yeah, hybrid. <laughs> it's a bit on the dark side. That wasn't flowing. Janae, see, you must unlock the car as I approach the car, man. Don't ruin the shot now. All right, we'll see you in London. <laughs> Oh, sh <laughs> how are you, sir? Right. Good to see you, man. How are you? Good, not bad. You know, oh. just trying to settle back into London life. We've got the beautiful rain outside. Yeah. We're what? praying for some sunshine. It will happen eventually. Where have you been, man? It's nice to see you here in the shop. I was having a little world tour. Always a pleasure to come into your Always shop. Always a pleasure. I see we've got like lots of boxes on watch here. Yeah, I see the beautiful Panamera outside. Yeah. yeah. Very I safe. heard you started a YouTube channel as well. We have, yeah, yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna try and do some bits and pieces, couple episodes. I know you guys love the watches segment on my channel, and who better than a jewelers to show you around the watch and the jewelry. Mr. Aleem himself. No, sir. The car champion. <laughs> Nathan, I'd like you to uh, just quickly show him around the shop. And uh, Abt and I are going to have a quick little catch up. He's going to show me some special pieces that he has, and we'll see you very, very soon. Nice, nice. <laughs> Normally, Abton will not allow me to film in here unless it's like super tidy, everything's perfectly set. But it is a working Look, business environment. You, you've and there's boxes. In a very natural state here, it's very organic, there's rubbish <laughs> everywhere. You caught us very off guard, but we're working, what can I say? Uh, Abton, obviously, we're in your shop now, we're on LA Weekly, and they're all very yeah, excited yeah. to see your channel. I'm helping you move around boxes of Audemars Piguet and yeah. Rolexes. Welcome to the world of age jewelers. Uh, have you got anything nice to show us? Anything we special? Have, we we have, like we to have. see diamonds here Let's as bring well. Some special stuff, huh? We're waiting. You want some diamond stuff? Yeah, some shiny. Can we get shiny. icy this winter? Yeah. Let's do it. Winter? We still it. got a little bit of summer left. Ah, we're hoping for a bit more, but. <laughs> we're going a few, few bits and pieces today, a few special bits and pieces today. We've got the RM30 here in Rose Gold. Very desirable, sought after piece. RM Wait. in terms of RM, people love the size. And well. it's, it's also titanium popular. on the size and titanium the. Titanium size, Rose Gold on the top. 
We've got an RM6702 here. This watch has become very popular. This is the new version of the Johan Blake, the 6702. So can, can, it comes in a few when you, when you talk colors. about it, can I have it here, please? Yeah, so look, listen, we're all learning now in the moment. So welcome to LA Weekly. Welcome to A Jewelers Weekly. Gone again. Abdin. This watch comes in a few amazing colors. This is the 6702. Uh, it's the new, new version of the Johan Blake. It comes in a cherry, it comes in a black, it comes in a blue and white. Special watches, they're thin, they're very light, they probably weigh about 35 grams. This watch is 225 And it weighs how much? It weighs about 35 grams. So if you can imagine 35 grams, we're talking like half a Mars bar would be about 35 grams, I'd say. That is ridiculous. Um, my favorite um, out of what we have at the moment on the A Jewelers cushion is the um, is the RM1103 Titanium. The 03 is a racing machine on your wrist. It is, yeah. It is, I would Very say, like the Nautilus of the Richard Mill watch. Oh, you want to see close to it? Yeah, it, it comes in rose gold. It comes in full rose, half rose. This is the titanium version, which is very popular. Uh, they sell very fast. It's the new model. It's the new version of the, they made the 1101, then the 1102. Now we've got the 1103. It's the most popular out of the RM11s. And can I say it's a beautiful watch? It's a nice size. It's got some what beautiful it, detail in there. What, what everybody would, would surely like to know, what is your favorite shape? I mean, you rock quite a lot of different Richard Mills and you rock them very My well. My favorite but watch is, is the Bubba Watson. Right now we've got the chandelier case on it. This is actually, this originally comes in white, so it's a white ceramic. Bubba Watson's my favorite RM. I've got a few other RMs that are more expensive, but I just personally love the Bubba Watson. I love the way that the, the, the movement is skeletonized. Um, I love the shape of the watch, the size of the watch. I just think when it's When are we gonna see the watch. first aftermarket Sapphire Richard Mill from A Jewelers? The first aftermarket Sapphire, we've actually ordered one, it's gonna come in the next two weeks. <laughs> we've got one coming in white, and we've got one in, in the clear Sapphire as well. So that it's is... gonna be exciting. We're looking forward to, uh, Showing you these new pieces. When they come this in was as actually well. one of the first Richard Mills, um, it, the bust down ones that I saw you wearing. And do you remember I walked into the shop and I'd seen you after yeah. some time yeah, and, yeah, I, and yeah. I just couldn't keep my so eyes So, everyone, just so you guys understand, some people they don't understand how bust down works and they say it lowers the value and this and that and the other. This, we ha actually haven't touched any of the original parts. We've made this whole chandelier case from scratch and we have all the original parts separate so we could just switch everything back to normal. So if I was to purchase this watch, would I get the uh, the other parts with this watch? Of course, watch? yeah. So it comes along with the whole, all of the original parts, all of the original white ceramic parts. That is parts, value for money. All the original pieces. So you can always transition the watch back to a diamond chandelier piece. You can transition it back to a normal cer ceramic bubble But watch. the craftsmanship as well on these diamonds. I mean, it, it's very easy to say and, and select a, a narrative on aftermarket diamonds, but the finish on these so is guys, so smooth. Every single stone here is cut to size, cut to shape, all invisible set. They're all fitting together like a jigsaw. The work is second to none. The craftsmanship's out of this world. May I ask what the price is? To make a watch piece is? like this, it'll, be, it'll take like two months, three months, just to make this case alone. Just the case alone. It's made in white gold? This made in white gold, yeah. How much is this watch? This watch right now, we would sell this watch for... Four hundred thousand pounds, and that comes with all the original parts. But but that looks like a million a million pound watch, sir. It okay. does definitely. All crown this. It looks like a million. And obviously, plus, Richard sure. Mill being you know a very new company as well, and how deep they are with their sponsorships now. Moving on to Ferrari, overtaken Hublot uh, on that on, on that side of it. They're really coming for the motorsport game, and this falls hand in hand with cars and watches. I mean, there's no other watch uh, on the market that fits the automotive industry as well as Richard Mill, uh, as well as Jacob and Co. They actually make a Chiron watch, which they've been trying to sell me for so long. They've even configured it to every possible colour configuration that you know could match my car, but it's a no-no for me. <laughs> <laughs> We still love you, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> when you want to get spicy, it's the weekend, you want to put some diamonds on. Ooh. We've got a skeleton card to your hair set with VVS diamonds. We put the big exercise, extra size rocks in the bezel here. You can see they're 20 pointers. Who the hell puts 20 pointers in the bezel of their watch? The watch is flower set, it's beautiful, it's done in VVS. The craftsmanship is 10 out of 10, second so, to none. Cartier, uh, I mean, for some time, especially the Santos, was a very, very popular watch, a very, very popular shape. This is the new reinvention. And it kind of fell off, but do you it think... Fell off, it fell off, and this is the re... The, they've reinvented this new model, and it's just, it flies off the shelf, it's doing better than all of the... And if you have a look at the details... Even better this, than the APs, actually. The skeleton inside the actual face is also encrusted with diamonds, lots of... Lots of attention to detail, and I must say, a definitely a big hitter in the diamond world here. Then if you want to go for the AP, we've got here the Royal Oak 41 mil in steel bust down as well, big diamonds in the bezel, which is a beautiful piece as well. It's timeless, mm, Arabic dial goes well. out of fashion. Fantastic. We've got a Patek here, bust down Patek, 5990. This 5990, the, the base model of the watch now is 100 grand alone, just the base model. Uh, and this is completely flower set with VVS diamonds. 
We're actually going to change the bezel on this one. We're going to put some big diamonds in the bezel, make a new bezel. Come on, guys. Let's all be honest right now. Like, come on. Like, the Audemars PK bust down is definitely the best shape. I personally, I personally, I think this is the one right now, to be honest with you. The skeleton for me, yeah. it's, just, it's just a baby. The shape well, of it, the look of it. You can it, sway me to like any watch, I think. Uh, it just, but this I mean, one, look, this if you look, guys, I mean, look. I mean, we need if, 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 if we could be interact, if we could vote or something. I mean, look, if if we can. Start All right, so hold on a second, guys. guys I mean, comment below. What would you rather, the Cartier the skeleton, skeleton or the Audemars PK? Boy, look. Wow. But Audemars Cartier. I mean, aesthetically, Audemars aesthetically, Cartier. you can't compare the two. Oh. This is out of this world. If you got a big bank there. Then you take the big boy. Or if you want to take it to the, to the Bugatti one. level, then you jump onto the <laughs> chandelier. And what about this one? Here, this here. Is, we have a, a, a Patek. Yeah. That's like, the not many people That's bust the down a 5990 Patek. bust down. I mean, you see one Not here. many people bust down a 5990. It's a very rare watch to bust down. We bust it down here, but we're changing the bezel here. So we're going to have another bezel shipped in the next couple of days. It's going to be ready. It's going to be big uh, diamonds in the bezel, double row. May I ask, what do you do with the old one then? The old one, we just will scrap the old bezel. Just quite a juicy number as well. Ooh. Rose gold, day date 40. Oh. Flower set, big diamonds in the bezel. And we've got that rainbow baguette diamond dial. Last of least, we're gonna show you guys, I call this baby the Godzilla. Look at this massive piece of diamond chunk. Look at the di look at the sizes of the diamonds in that bezel. Look at the sizes of the diamonds in the lugs. I call this the Godzilla. Filth. This is just filth. It's a big brick of diamond. Big booger. Big boogers. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I mean, right now, I mean, this is these are just the diamond selection of watches that we have here. Look, I mean, this this is this is absolutely mind blowing. The size of the diamonds, I love the fact that they are just going absolutely ham on different models. I mean, where can you see all this in one place? And we have the RMs, this factory stuff. We've got the diamond stuff. We've got. Oh. This is a few bits and pieces before I, we'll bring out the safe. Here's the end of the day. Our lovely friend came a bit late here. We're always here to accompany him and make him welcome, but it's oh. about six o'clock here, so most of the stuff's in the safe. But hopefully you're gonna do another video soon. What we would like to also see is, I would say, I would like, you know, where these diamonds, where these diamonds get placed and stuff like that, is if you have a very good relationship with the person, I know that you don't like to be on camera and stuff, yeah, yeah, but yeah. if you can get just like, you don't even show their face, but you can get close, close up of the craftsmanship of their work, where oh, the watches like, get uh, placed, I'd love to see all of this. So, and this yeah, is where like, I come for, all of my, all my watch needs as well. I just picked up a watch right now, just got, um, you know, sorted out, had some scratches on it, got it all tidied up, and now this this is a dangerous place to be because it costs you money. So we've got um, we've got a few operations around the world. It took us many years to perfect what we're doing and to be able to get the best work in terms of just choosing our diamond setters, in terms of choosing our uh, where how we assort our diamonds. It takes it took many many years to get to the level of perfection that we're at now. You can so. follow Abton's journey as well. Um, you just have to Google his name, put his name in, and we'll see lots of. Amazing articles and from the start, and such an inspirational story as well. Uh, how he vibes with the with the area of Hatton Garden, how he bounced off the energy, um, how he entered the game, how he absolutely annihilated it, and uh, how he's still sitting at the top with, you know, the best of the best. It's like at Set Platinum, we want to make sure that our fleet is fresh, our fleet um, has the best specs, we have the best variety, best to offer, and I feel the brand alignment couldn't be stronger right now. Uh, a jewelers, this is my place to come when I need my big boy piece. <laughs> So guys, we've got our client here in the back. He wants to stay confidential. He's not going to show his face, but we're going to show what she's purchased today. And today we sold him this watch. And this is a very special watch, and it was very exciting even being able to buy this watch and have it have it in our presence. I haven't seen one of these watches for the last five years. We managed to get one just recently. Now this watch, they've stopped making it for like 15 years now. This is one of the original skeleton versions of the AP they made. This is oh. in platinum. This is called the Calendar Perpetual Open Artwork, and this is made in platinum. Very extremely special rare watch. You won't even find one of them on the internet. Super rare, super sought after, and if you're looking for a collectible rare sought after piece, this is the kind of watch you'll be looking at. And this is close to 200,000 pounds, this watch here. I'm lost for words. And it's just stunning. Is it platinum? It's in platinum, yeah. May I? Get my grubby fingers all over. <laughs> the dial is actually hypnotizing. It's hypnotizing, right? It's hypnotizing. There's there's depth to it. There's so many layers. It's so skeletonized. It's not even skeletonized. It's like got veins. Yeah. There's like small little capillaries. There's so, so much detail. Like, you could just keep, keep looking at it and be like, like oh, so you have the, I didn't realize. The, the AP Royal Oaks, there's, there's like a whole history of how they've come about and how they go along. This is the first 
skeletonized version of the the AP that they made. And now they make make an open artwork as uh, sorry. Now they make a calendar perpetual as well. There's been about four versions of different calendar Not perpetuals. Not 16, 3.2 seconds. Tops between 212 miles per hour. But this uh, is 7,000 foot. This is basically the equivalent. This is the only. Of the watch world. This is only the, this is the only open artwork skeleton watch calendar perpetual skeleton watch that they made up until now they just released a black ceramic calendar perpetual open artwork version of this which is the newer version which they just made now which is in, only comes in black ceramic by the way guys so this watch here is a one of it's one of its kind it's a very special piece it's made in platinum and it's a super super special collectible piece the first time actually i came across this watch we bought one of these about four years ago and we purchased it and sold it for about sixty thousand pounds so you can, you, can, you can kind of imagine now how much the watch has increased in price and uh, there's no ceiling to this watch, it's only going to go up, it's only going to become more and bigger, so... Uh, Alright guys, that's class watch. dismissed. Congrats on your piece. Right, so we had one more place to go, but I think uh, that that is going to be closed unless we can get there. Can we get to the, the old yeah, stall? We'll there, All right, well, let's try getting there because I have something to return because something broke. And uh, yeah, we spent way too much time at a jewelers, which is meant we're a little bit late. Get in, Nathan. Are you getting in this way? Yeah. Oh, go on, get in. Cheers. Right, guys. Before I head back to Birmingham, I've got to come and see my friend Max, Hypercars and Hyperpieces. I'll tell you more about that in a bit, but he's a great car and watch enthusiast. And yeah, I love having a great catch up with Max. I've known him for a while. Nathan, you met him a few times as well. Yeah, yeah. And I can, let's see if he's in. Well, of course, he's got to be in because I've told him I'm coming. Yeah. MTV Cribs, how are we? I'm good, bro. How are you? LA Weekly, this yeah, is my buddy yes. Max, Hypercars and Hyperpieces. We will tell you more about that in a bit. Max, Thanks. we cannot go to Birmingham without seeing you, dude. No, no, welcome to Max's humble abode. My favorite place to be is this couch. <laughs> Max, how are you, brother? I'm all good, man. I'm getting it's used been to good the to weekly live. We yeah, go. clipped on the Lovely, it's all proper yeah. now. Right, Max, uh, the weeklies. So, we've got a lot to catch up on. You know I like to come yeah. and sit down with you and discuss the Deep week. And just, yeah. yeah, Max and I actually have a lot of conversations about life, about what's going on uh, in my life and basically things that we, we, we want to do as a creative and uh, honestly a lot of people don't know this but we have a lot of chat out on that balcony, don't we? For sure. <laughs> Max, you like the LA Weeklies? Loving them. Yeah, I Max, loving Max them. your doorstop is a little dog. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, but it's been good to see behind the scenes a bit more. Yeah. You know, people don't get to see. Well, I don't know what Love Island is doing on your screens. We need to get the LA Weeklies yeah, up. And this week's out. episode is going to be a madness. I just went to A Jewelers. Yeah. So I've got to tell you about all the incredible pieces that I saw there. And then maybe you can update me on some of the new pieces that are out. Or what's, your, what's your latest favorite piece at the moment? Uh, the 5711. Oh, oh. So guys, I'm gonna put up, I'm gonna put up Max's Instagram up now on the screen. It's hypercars and hyper pieces. Max is an enthusiast for hypercars and as you can see, hyper pieces. So we're not just talking the ordinary watches, we're talking like the super limited pieces, pieces yeah. that you haven't even heard about. Mm -hmm. I mean there's one piece that we saw at A Jewelers, it was a skeleton AP, but mm -hmm. not the type of skeleton AP that you think it is. I've never even seen one of these, and Abton said to me that you know what, Aline, you're not gonna see another watch like this. So I'm, I can't wait to show you that because maybe you You'll know what it is, um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have a good chat, and uh, yeah, tomorrow is another day, Friday. Let's get it. No, I hit. How are you? <laughs> Where have you been, lad? How are you? I'm good. Well, it's draft time. Just not recording, but what time is it? 1:45 a.m. 1.45 a.m. Me, Aleem and Junaid have just got back from London and I've just caught Nahid by here washing some cars. What have you washed today? Cars. Just cars, yeah? No coaches, vans, lorries, wheelbarrows? Airplanes. Airplanes, yeah. okay, okay. Uh, PIA, uh, 77 Boeing. What, what time you start? When did I start? Yeah. Uh, midnight. What time you finish? Uh, midday. Oh. 12 to 12? Aye, aye, aye. aye. You coming to the wedding Saturday? What wedding? I don't get up, what do you see? What's your uniform? Shawamis. Shawamis? Shawamis. Shawamis. What colours? It's been, I don't know. What? I think I'm wearing black. Alright, safe. Listen, I I'm going on. You do your you shift, mate. Rest? I'm gonna get some work. Yeah, I'm tired. Okay. Goodbye. Guys, see you tomorrow. Finish Thursday into Friday. 
let's go. Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to Friday's LA Weekly. We have finally made it to Friday, Nathan. Well done. Right, this hasn't been the ordinary week. There's a lot of things that have been happening. Uh, lots of preparation for my sister's wedding. And this weekend, I don't know if you can tell from the lights, actually on the night, we need to come down here on the night as well sometime, get some uh, shots of the lights. The lights have been put on the house and taken back off about three or four times. I don't even think the company that we shouted at initially, this is even their lights anymore, that's to come and take them down. But anyway, regardless, everyone's done a fantastic job. Love everyone to bits. Um, it's my sister's wedding tomorrow. And I'm not gonna lie, I think I'm a little bit emotional today. I'm a little bit emotional because um, she's been in my life for now 23 years, 24 years, and she's my rock, she's my everything, she's my soul, um, she's my best friend, and it's my only sibling. Maybe some people will think I'm being dramatic or whatever, but uh, yeah, if you have a sister, you'll know how it feels. So hopefully we don't cry tomorrow. Uh, anyway, let's go off the subject, let's think about the day. Yeah, it's a bit too much now. Uh, Nathan, what do we need to do? Get me a shawarma. Yeah, a shawarma. No, not a shawarma. We need to get you a shawani. So, yeah. Shawarma is what you have on Edgware <laughs> Road at Helen's that gave you a tummy problem. Yeah, shawarma. You want a shawarma as well? <laughs> you want a shawarma in a shawani? Yeah. Mm, that's a bit of a tongue twister. Okay, uh, no, we are going to get you a shawani. Uh, the weather is beautiful and uh, seeing as we're in Birmingham, which is the... Uh, which is actually the third biggest city in Pakistan. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there's lots of Asian clothes around here, so I don't think we'll have a problem with that. Let's get cracking, Nathan. Should we go? Let's go. Let's go. Zazib. Yeah. How are you? Good, what are you saying? You're right. You're never going to believe who's here. It's LA Weekly. Yes, Nathan. You're What's right. going on? It's LA Weekly. Right. LA Weekly, this is my dynamic duo. Shazib. Shazib, I'm 13 years old and I'm Elim Zanami Jew. We're gonna, we're, all right, we're going shopping now for some yeah. Asian clothes, and uh, yeah, you, you can tell them all about yourself. It's nice to see you guys, day. you know. Yeah, no, don't worry. We're not going anywhere. We're going. We're... All right, let's get to it, though. <laughs> 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 this is why I love Shazim. Shazim, man, you're the man. Let me get out. Should we go in the pan? Yeah, let's go in the pan. Yeah, come let's on. Go in the pan. If you guys do not know, I'm 17 years old. I don't think you guys are gonna believe me, but <laughs> mashallah, mashallah, but, mashallah. but because I'm so tall and that, I don't look certain, do I? I look right, at the range. Let's you know, have a little, little, little wrestle. All right. Go on, let's, you, push, you push against me. Let's see who's got to. <laughs> Shazib, you need to stop playing rugby or something, man. I know, I know, I know. Proper bell. I, I can actually tense them up, you know. Anyway, it's my sister's wedding tomorrow. I know, I know. Can't wait, you know. You excited? It's going to be a, bi a big moment for you, isn't it? I saw, I, saw your, I saw your Insta post as well. Yeah. Well, what type of Asian clothes are we going to get? We're going to get Shalwar Kameez. Yeah, we're going to get, we're gonna we're get gonna some, uh, we're gonna get some, we're going to get some really, really nice Asian clothes. Just so I look good, uh, ready for uh, tomorrow night. So it's gonna be um, a good, it's gonna be a good wedding, you know. Shazib, also Nathan. Yeah. We gotta get him something as well. Yeah, we, we gotta get Nathan something, got, you know. He's, he's I got mean, to jump you know, straight into the tradition. Huh? Yeah, he's, he's part um, of all of it, you know. So recently, I've been in um, London for about um, two weeks. I came, I just came back last night. I've been doing uh, some work experience at my um, at my auntie's uh, office. Uh, it's called Lords Associates. Um, it's based in uh, Oxbridge in London. Right. Okay. Shall we get moving? Yeah, let's cool. get moving, you know. Are you gonna are you gonna sit in the front? Can you sit in the front? So guys, this is my YouTube channel by the way. So that's that's why it's called. Cool. So like you've got my name there and you've got my surname, so um Who's I'm your cameraman, Charles Ed? So my cam uh, What's my his name? Do you wanna shout him out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, shout out to my um, cameraman, uh, Nikki, you know. So uh, this one's for you, you know. Thank you so much for uh, teaching me all about like the basics of photography and uh, editing and all that. I think Nikki likes spending time with you, though. Yeah, right? he likes spending what time with you. What about your me. personal trainer? Do you want to shout him out? And uh, shout out to my uh, personal trainer, Carl React, you know. And if it wasn't for him, but, like, I wouldn't he... be lifting heavy weights, you know. Yeah, man. Oh, well, she's so pretty. Show yeah. She just look cool with the camera. Yeah, Maybe good vibes, don't you? Give it a little jab. Yeah. So you know you know what's happening? If you don't know, we got some uh, wise words there. Wise words of wisdom. The word Islam means peace. The word Muslim means uh, the one who surrenders to God. But the press makes it seem like hey, it's wise words of wisdom. And that is uh, Muhammad Ali, you know. When I say yeah. leave, you know what to do. Wait, wait, go on. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah. So now you're tired. Go on, are you not going to leave now?
Let's you get might. rolling. Oh, you you might. Might. Let's get rolling. So I said, what uh, colour shoes are you going to wear? What do you think, Jeanette? You need to wear some nice black loafers, yeah? Yeah. Look at the detail on the buttons. Yeah, look at that detail. You know, know. this is... This it's all about the detail. Yeah. No, 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 no. I want to oh, oh, you, you want me to leave? You always buy me stuff. He, he always buys me stuff. Oh. <laughs> Oh, having a haircut. We no, 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 no. I want a haircut. What time does the wedding start? You know what? It's, these are all questions that I need to answer for myself, and I will do so um, shortly. And when you meet my sister tomorrow, yeah, you tell her how amazing her brother is, right? <laughs> See, I'm only here because of Aline. <laughs> yeah. Imagine one is one is George does it, and if you can hold Nathan's as well yeah. for him, and this Nathan is going to pick up tomorrow. Yeah. All right. Thank okay, you very much. Very much have a great Bye -bye. evening as well. How are you? Yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you, Nathan. Oh. How's it going, Nathan? No, you're right. Oh, good. You're on it right now. It's LA Weekly. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> hey, Nathan. Hey. Fantastic. Really nice to have you on board. Might well. as well get used to that South France living. Then going in two weeks. If that's your one. Yeah. Everything else we'll get tomorrow. Right, is that everything, sir? All right then, guys. I've got to go now. As you all know, work never stops. So uh, yeah, I'll see you all later, man. It's really nice to have you on the channel. It's pretty. LA Weekly. Nice You're going to be seeing more of Shazeb. Big ambitions from a 13-year-old young man, and uh, soon to take over the world, inshallah. Let's make right. it happen. All right, then. Right, Go on, lads. Right, right, off all you right, go then. inside. Take right, care. I'll see you later. See you later. Work hard. Work smart. Listen. What was that quote that you dropped earlier? Like Sometimes a, in life, you just got to do things you don't want to do. Sometimes in life you've got to do things that you don't want to do. Brilliant. We're actually going to go see my friend uh, Chow. He's known as Chow. His uh, government name is Wide. <laughs> <laughs> and he's also an Iqbal. There's nothing like an Iqbal party. If you know, you know. Why where you at? And ladies and gentlemen. There is nothing like an Iqbal party. You heard. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> well, obviously we've been out shopping. For, uh, we got Nathan an outfit. Nathan, you look smart, yeah. Smart, what are you wearing? Waistcoat and white shawar kameez. We also got Shazir. So Shazir's finally, yeah. finally yeah. made it onto the LA Weekly. Yeah. That's where you play yeah. crowd tears. Yeah. <laughs> this is Mr. Big John himself, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Uncle John, how are you, sir? Good. Congratulations on your new Uncle venture. Say, say some words. Yeah, definitely. Let's get on. No, 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 ladies and gentlemen, no, no, I have to get. <laughs> Maybe I think I think Uncle John we're going to say for a podcast. Everybody's getting really, really shy now. There's no point, right? Anyway, all right, walking around. What we've got here? We've got some fleas roll out. Look who else is here. Chow, chow, come here, please. Is that Mr. Wahid Iqbal? Wahid Iqbal. He's our guest of honor today. Yeah. Look at the size of the potion for the fish. There's a bigger size as well. There's a bigger size than this. That super jumbo over there. Well, you come to Birmingham, you best know you gotta have big portions. And Big John's are doing it right with his Mother Hubbard branch. This is unreal. All right, let's have a look at the rest of the outfit, Musti. What's going on here then? The, so the inspiration uh, Victoria is, Square, is basically, basically it's British heritage, so it's just, you know, got a good classic feel to it. Is this Birmingham? This is all Birmingham, history of Birmingham. So that's Victoria Square, if you know city centre. So what, what, what area is this then? You know where Dishoom is? Okay. This is where Dishoom was. You can't drive there anymore. No, though. no, 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 you can't drive here no more. The whole map of Birmingham has changed and you know yeah. what, this is actually a great place. You know where this is? Actually, you know, it's a big throwback. You know where this is? You right. know where we go by Fumo, San Carlo, Colmore Road? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's Colmore Road there. Oh, wow. That's where Grand Central So back in the days, in the 1896, people had their horse and carts. Yeah, man. And now we're whipping through in our Ferraris and yeah. Lambos and stuff, man. Things are changing. So you know the, you know the other um, Mother Hubbards that are around the country? Yeah. Do they, for the, depending on the city Yeah, depending on the city, it's got different shots of the city. The what a vibe. What a vibe. Now, I always miss the old Birmingham, and I think that's because like so much has changed in our generation and in terms of like, the city centre of Birmingham. So actually seeing all these throwback pictures, I mean, they're actually fascinating. Imagine having a fish and chips, and you, you know you want a little, you want a little inspiration from your city. You want a little hey, history lesson, exactly. <laughs> See now, this is the advantage of having your friend being a uh, a takeaway tycoon is that you get to go behind the scenes. So this is Lamar's room here. All right, so this is your prayer room? This is the prayer room. Wow, are these sacks of potato, G? Sacks of potato, Oh, yeah. man. Yeah, potatoes everywhere. Lofters so key. what's different about here is they cut, they peel and cut their own potato in the store. So you get that consistency, you know. Oh, that. my day. Look you at see the it. size of the chip. Yeah, so the peeler is here, and then here's the cutter. So these chips uh, are a little bit bigger than Big John's? Yeah, a little bit bigger, a little bigger, yeah. I personally like the Big John size, but I think I will give the Mother Hubbards a try as well. Straight into the kitchen. Okay, okay. Nice. Uh, I know with all of your takeaways, hygiene and, uh, and kitchen yeah, yeah, spacing is, is priority yeah. for you guys. No cross-contamination. Well, it's hard to cross-contaminate here because it's only literally fish and potatoes. Uh, these are fries. What is it fried in? 
It's fried in. It's not rapeseed oil. Veg oil. Not rapeseed. Oh, even better. Even healthier. Yeah. Vegetarian oil. Super healthy. Um, super got, fresh. Wow, super fresh. The batter's fresh. made here, super fresh. So what's on the menu? Just fish and chips? Just fish and chips, different types. So imagine going to a store, right, and they specialise in just the fish and chips. You know they're going to put a lot of heart, a lot of attention to their fish and chips. So I guess it's the, I guess about curry spirit. Aki, if you want to say a few words. <laughs> camera shy. That's the main man with behind Mother Hubbards. What about these? Uh, we got we got some curry sauce over here as well. Lovely, full setup. That's Fridays on LA Weekly. Come on through, Nathan. Nathan, I'm hungry now. Are you? But we're doing an offer, you see, when we first opened up here. Yeah? <laughs> we're doing an offer. You know what the offer is? What? You're going to get one of them fish and chips for 45p. What? 45p. For fish and chips? For fish and chips. Am I right, Uncle? Am I right? Monday. First thousand customers. First thousand customers, 45p. 45, 45 pence. 45 but it was you guys that originally actually started off the 99p chip. But so you've cut that in half you see, and it's wasting time. These guys, months. Mother Hubbard's, has been here around since 1972, 20 years before us. Where? In this location? No, 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 in Bradford oh. and Leicester yeah, and yeah, some yeah. parts of London. Yeah. 1972, they did 45p fish and chips. Wow. 45p. They started with 45p. So your first thousand customers? I'm going to get 45p. Uh, it's not open yet? No. No, no, Monday. It's soft opening. On Monday. And this, oh my days. Oh my days. This weekly, guys, this weekly goes out on Sunday. Yes, Nathan, we're going to make it happen for Sunday. Guys, if you're watching this, it's a Sunday. Just know tomorrow, get yourselves a Mother Hubbard. 45p. 45p in what, 19? No, forget the 1972. No, that's very important. Okay. So 40, like 40 years ago, well 39 years ago, yeah, they started off with 45p fish and chips, 39 years later. And on later, Monday, we go back in time and you can get fish and chips for 45 pence. I will be first in line. If you're the first oh, thousand customers. 45 pence for fish and chips yeah. on Monday. Yeah, 45 pence for fish and chips because Mother Hubbard's was uh, launched in 1972. So they gone back to 1972 prices for 45 pence. Wow. Back in 1972 when you wasn't born, <laughs> 45 pence. Wow, so we're going back in time, even before I was born. I love a history lesson. And uh, yeah, this weekly is going to be going out on Sunday. So I guess that a lot of people are going to be lining up for these fish and chips. Only the first thousand customers can get fish and chips for 45 pence. And Aline's going to be on crowd control. Yeah, because <laughs> it's, it's going to be on the LA Weekly. Yeah, in gonna, fact, LA Weekly gonna, is going to be here on Monday. In, uh, oh, it's my sister's wedding on Monday, but that's in the evening. We're going to be here in the morning. We're going to be serving you fish and chips. First thousand customers, 45 pence. What a way to end. Friday, yeah, we're gonna put an apron and a hat on Alima, it'll be yeah, fine. And he can That's fine. Yes, I want the same outfit. Exactly. So guys, we got a spare outfit for him. Yeah. Brilliant. Just well, what a way to end Friday uh, in. A, uh, no, wait, you might as well chill for a bit. We've got some entertainment, we've got some fish and chips coming as I know, well. I know, I want to enjoy that with you. I don't All want to right. enjoy it with okay. There's some things, you know, okay. you know how I like All it. Right. I've got to keep that balance, you know? Okay, okay. Not everything is for LA Weekly. If that was the case, I don't think I'd be able to make these videos. I am a little bit of a private guy. I do like to have some downtime with my friends as well. So, uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, what a way to end Friday uh, with uh, in a chip shop. And uh, yeah, we're going to get frying some fish and chips. I'm going to try them out ready to perfect the fish and chips for you guys on Monday. I'll see you all on Monday, hopefully. First thousand customers, 45 pence. Even if you don't see me here, you're still going to be happy because you get fish and chips for 45 pence. This sounds like it's paying pro promo now, but it's not. I actually uh, live off fish and chips, so it's the best thing ever, having a friend that actually has a, uh, a takeaway tycoon that uh, helps me get fat. Anyway, you can get fat too on Monday, 45 pence. That sounds like a good salesman. Yeah, you're the fat. <laughs> is, is there an outfit? Yeah, 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 yeah. we got a... We got a mascot or something like that, yeah. I'm gonna dress up like a cod, aren't I? Is that what you're gonna do? If you want to. No, no, no. If you Chow, want that's to. That's what Charles was, that's what I bought him Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this week's weekly. I have missed you guys. I do want to apologize for missing out on two weeks worth of weeklies. I know you guys have been coming at my neck saying, Aleem, do not do that again. I am taking that on board. I'll make sure that my holidays, my little breaks are a little bit shorter next time. <laughs> anyway, guys, make sure you follow me on Instagram so you can keep up to date with behind the scenes, some daily stuff, get daily content. It's Lord and Liam underscore official. And uh, yeah, I'll be seeing you guys very, very soon. Thank you so much for all the support. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it, subscribe. And uh, yeah, we'll see you all soon. I'm gonna tuck into some fish and chips and you can too at 45 pence on Monday at Waffle Road, Mother Hubbard. We'll see You're you. You're a good salesman. <laughs> <laughs> You're a sick salesman.